All right, parents, using a car seat can be tricky. I think we all know that. Now, luckily, there's a program that can help parents out. Danielle Kessinger is a child passenger safety instructor with Safe Kids Northeast Florida, and Shireen Bate is a mother of three. Welcome to the show. So glad thank to have you. you guys. And you brought a special guest with you today. Yes, thank you. This is Landon. He's 18 months. Nice. Nice to meet you, Landon. I'm so glad to have you on set. It's nice to have someone that isn't as distracting as Curtis on the show. <laughs> All right, so Shireen, tell us a little bit about your experience with this. Well, I had a great experience. The first time I was about eight months pregnant and had my car seat checked by Danielle. Yeah. And we had actually tried to install it ourselves thinking that we had done it correctly and she showed us that we didn't. So. Okay, so you, you came across them just kind of happenstance. So yes. tell us a little bit about that because you were telling me about how you yes. thought you had done it correctly right. and, and they showed you something just as simple about like what was going on with your chair. Well, the bottom of the chair would, sh would turn green if it was properly installed, yeah. but we had attached it to the actual bucket seat of the chair. Yeah. And you actually have to connect it to the anchors, not just what you think are the anchors. <laughs> so there you were thinking that you had it, yes. done it correctly. You had all the green lights and right. you would have known, you wouldn't have known otherwise. No. And then Danielle, you guys stepped in and tell us about that. Cause I mean, obviously these are common mistakes that occur with parents. What are some other ones? So the biggest mistake that happens is people don't read the manual to be familiar with it. Uh, and if you don't read the manual, you don't know how the engineer designed it. So you don't know how to use it. Right. So it's really important that um, you're installing the car seat correctly into the car. Mm -hmm. There's lots of variables with the lower anchors and with seat belts and tethers. There's so many different ways to install it correctly and knowing how it's installed correctly right. um, to make sure it moves less than an inch, to make sure you're using the tether if you're forward facing. All of those different things are important. The angle of the seat for a rear facing child um, and when to move to the next seat. We see people move kids too soon sometimes yeah. from rear facing to forward facing way too soon. And they're definitely more protected rear facing. So, and there's a lot of variables that go into obviously the car seat and it's not more, it's not just the installation aspect. It's mm -hmm. also like you, I think you mentioned this yes. before, like knowing like your, cause your child changes size right. eventually. <laughs> um, so, I think one thing you mentioned um, was it, you know, the quality of the, the chair, I think, or the seat. Some, some parents think that maybe the more money they spend, the safer their child will be. That's exact, exactly right. This is an example of one of the seats we offer at a low cost in our program for families that can't afford maybe a seat at even Walmart. Um, and they would be tempted to buy a seat off of the marketplace on Facebook or, or Swift Swap or something like that. And those could be dangerous. They may have been in a crash. If you um, get a seat from a friend that you trust with your child's life or a family member and it's not expired and it's got all the parts and pieces, great. It's okay to use a car, used car seat then. But if you don't know the history, you could be putting your child in danger. Definitely. And then the other aspect is, I mean, is it that, you know, the more money you spend, does that equate to a, a safer seat? No, not really. It, I mean, there could be some options that are more palatable to certain caregivers, whereas this one is a, is a stripped down model, okay. as you may say. This one is a, a low cost car seat, even in the store it's about $100, but this goes from 5 pounds to 40 pounds rear facing, and then to 65 pounds and 54 inches forward facing, and you can get it in the store for about $100, which is big, huge. Yeah. Or you could go and you could spend $300 on an infant seat, $400 or $300 on a convertible seat yeah. and then now $100 on a booster when you can get that all done in a whole lot less. Okay, so I know a lot of parents that are out there right now are probably staring at their car seat going, <laughs> okay, how can I sign up for this program? So where can they go for that? Well, it's really easy to give us a call at 904-202-4302 or look us up on the web. And if you Google Car Seat Checks Jacksonville, you're, we're going to come up as Safe Kids Northeast Florida. Can I tell you, though, Hattie, one of the biggest things that we have to um, f not fight but really work to tell people is that firefighters, policemen, ambulance workers, hospital workers, even your pediatrician are not certified in car seats yeah. and it is a certification it's a it's three and a half days and we want to make sure that people are are not just asking the guy down the street make right. sure they get correct advice well thank you so much for being here and and sharing this information and your experiences and of course you can catch a segment again and all the information on it at firstcoastliving.net